Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to KHD's webinar on cooler technology. Today we will present our latest cooler technology, third and fourth generation, PyroStep Square and PyroFloor Square clinker coolers. My name is Andre Saibon. I'm managing director of Humboldt Vedak GmbH, and I'm heading the Global Center of Excellence here in Cologne. With me is my colleague Ravi Saxena. Ravi, maybe you give a short introduction of yourself. Thank you, Andre, and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our seminar on cooler technology. My name is Ravi Saxena, and I am product manager for Clinker Coolers and KHD Cologne. Let me start with a brief introduction on our Pyrofluor Square technology, prior to Ravi giving you more in-depth details on it. We invented the Pyrofluor in 2005, and the first prototype was commissioned 2007 in Italy. After some experience made, we further developed it uh, to our now so-called um, Pyrofluor Square, which was introduced to the cement market in 2012. Today, more than 50 pyrofloor coolers have been sold worldwide. In the next slide, we're gonna give you a brief overview on the distribution, global distribution. As you can see, mainly we sold our coolers in EMEA region. We have some applications in India, Russia, and America, and are currently working on increasing our footprint in uh, the Asia Pacific region before handing over to Ravi for some more in-depth details, let's have a look at the general market demands on clinker coolers and clinker cooler technology. So for sure, everybody's asking for high efficiency. That's why we further optimized our cooling air distribution and prevented the straying air. Second demand, low wear, which for sure focuses on low operational costs. Um, for this, we implemented in our design no conveying elements within the clinker layer and the clinker cooler surface serves as an autogenous wear protection which minimizes wear almost to zero. As a third important demand number three we have optimized maintenance. So we focused very much when redesigning our pyrofloor cooler to pyrofloor square on easy to handle parts which are easy to install and can be handled by one or two persons only. Our cassettes serve um, a lifetime of more than three years, which we are guaranteeing. Last but not least, we are mentioning here demand number four, the low investment costs. So we need no tunnel for drag chain conveyors to uh, or any other dust removal devices, and we have a minimum of auxiliary equipment which is required. As I said, more in-depth details will be provided by my colleague Ravi Saxena. Ravi, you have the stage. So in regard to the high cooling efficiency, the first step we did was to define our standard product series. This we matched against the market demand. So now we have coolers that can cater to production capacities ranging from 2,000 tons per day to 12,000 tons per day. In this range, we have 13 coolers. Pyrofloor Square utilizes moving floor principle. It has this inclined static grate at the inlet. Ahead of the static grate, the cooler area is divided into several lanes. And these lanes are arranged parallel to each other along the length of the cooler. So these lanes can be controlled individually. The stroke length can be adjusted between 80 to 350 millimeters. The speed of the lanes can be adjusted and controlled from one cycles per minute to 10 cycles per minute. Let me show this in an animation. In forward direction, all lanes move together. As they retract, individual lanes do not retract, but the alternating lanes, they retract. Thereby, we get a positive transport of clinker in forward direction. Another important aspect of pyroflow design is the wear protection. This is the key feature of this cooler. As I mentioned, cooler floor is divided into several lanes, and each lane is an arrangement of cassettes, as you can see in this picture here. This is one lane and this is one cassette, and a lane comprises of several cassettes. 
there is something unique about these cassettes. Cassettes have covered aeration slots. These are designed perpendicular to the direction of clinker flow and allow passage of air from aeration chamber through the cassettes, but no material fall through is possible. Due to the cassette design, there are no pushing surface either in the clinker bed. That eliminates any wear. A layer of dead clinker is retained within the cassettes. This serves two purposes. One, it gives autogenous wear protection to metal surface against thermal and abrasive wear coming from the hot clinker. Two, it acts as a distributive sieve, facilitating homogeneous air distribution as the air from the chamber enters the cooler through the cassette. To further prevent the spillage, we have the design of our seals, longitudinal seals and lateral seals. Longitudinal seals cover the gap between the lanes. A new design incorporates a cover plate, which is this, that is installed on the edge of a cassette, and wear plate that is installed on the adjoining edge of the neighboring cassette. So this is the neighboring cassette, and this is the wear plate. The cover plate sits over the wearing plate, leaving no gap. Mating surfaces are hard faced for longer lifetime. This allows sliding movement of lanes, at the same time prevents any spillage. Gaps between the static grate and the moving lane is sealed with using lateral sealing elements, which are these. The lateral seal design incorporates spring-loaded elements that remain in contact with the top layer of wear plate of the start cassette. Mating surfaces are hard faced for longer lifetime. As a result of this complete contact, as the lane travel back and forth, there is no gap between the static grate and the moving lanes. Thereby, there is no spillage. Lanes are supported on sturdy support roller design. Inductively hardened support roller surface combined with reduced basic load ensure smooth operation and an increased lifetime. Smooth lane movement is ensured by hydraulic drive system of pyrofluor. This system is completely designed and developed by KSD in-house. Each lane is moved by a dedicated hydraulic cylinder. The system also incorporates a hot standby pump for highest reliability. So just in case any mishap happens with one of the pump or it has to be maintained, there is no need to stop the cooler at all. Besides this, there is another good feature of our hydraulic system. And this is the load sensitive feature. Load sensitive feature incorporated in the PLC ensures that the system pressure set point is dynamically adapted according to the determined load scenario. There is no need to run the system at a predefined pressure set point. The set point of the system is determined automatically depending upon the load scenario. This reduces wear and load on the hydraulic drives themselves, but also results in energy saving on the pumps. Elaborate self-diagnostics enable automatic and intuitive corrective actions to ensure 24-7 availability of hydraulic system. When necessary, remote support via internet can be provided from KHD office for updates and maintenance. Pyrofluor has installation advantages as well. In comparison to the great cooler of same capacity, it is lighter in weight by 20%. And it also has a smaller footprint. And here are some examples of the robust design of our pyrofluor square. These are the pictures of support rollers which are in operation in Turkey since last six years. They all look good and there is no need to replace them and none of these rollers had been replaced in six years of operations. This is how our aeration cassettes look after five years of operation without even one being replaced during this time. That's how the static grade plates 
look like after 12 months of operation. This picture is another plant in Turkey where we have pyrofluor square installation. And this picture is again from a Turkish plant where we have pyrofluor square operating since last five years. None of the plates has been replaced during this time. So now I invite Andre who will take you through the more process specific features of pyrofluor square. Andre. Thank you, Ravi. Let me summarize the features of our static grade pyrostatic. First of all, we redesigned our pyrostatic plates. That means we optimized our aeration slots in order to uh, decrease pressure drop and thereby for sure decrease our operational costs as well. We focused on a stepless layout. That means the Kininka can freely flow from the static grade and avoid snowman formation. For sure, we have, as it is industry standard, a physical horseshoe, which prevents air escaping through sides and edges. And shock blowers are inbuilt in the physical horseshoe, so we get closer to a potential snowman in order to fight it. Our latest upgrade are the air distributors, or so-called air deflection flaps. Thereby, we can significantly optimize our heat exchange and the airflow can be channeled or funneled into the direction of the center of the static rate, resulting in a better recuperation and improved air distribution. In order to visualize what our intention was, we prepared a small animation, which I would like to show to you now. The animation starts with a flyover our pyrofloor cooler housing entering into the housing on top of the crusher. As you can see at the beginning of the recuperation zone, we focused on the steady grade only, showing the air distribution and traditional airflow without horseshoe or any regulating devices. You can see with the horseshoe, the air recuperation and cooling efficiency already improves, but we did further. We installed our so-called air deflection flaps in order to be able to control the stream of air and amount of air in order to increase uh, the cooling efficiency on the static rate. As you can see, by adjusting only some of the plates, the air is directed to the bulk, center bulk um, of the clinker, and thereby cooling efficiency is significantly increased. In case you have a non-ideal situation, as it is shown here, the air deflection plates can be used in order to uh, compensate uneven distribution of the clinker on the static rate as well. Let's have a look at the other process advantages of our pyrofluor square clinker cooler design. As you can see, we very much focused on having short uh, chambers at the beginning after the static rate. This is in order to avoid a too high temperature difference or a too high uh, delta P pressure drop difference over the length of a chamber, and thereby avoiding cold air Get escaping through the rear part of the second and third chamber and to be able to control second, third and fourth chamber more individually by shorter length. In addition, we increase very much the clinker bed height, which is shown in this graph. Thereby, we are in improving our cooling efficiency as well and reduce specific cooling air demand in total. Let's have a look at the actual performance data of our Pyroflow Square design. As you can see, we have here four coolers in USA, Turkey, and Canada, ranging from grade sizes of 60 to 140 square meter. In all of these cases, we achieved the guaranteed values, but these are operational data now, as you can see by having a range instead of a fixed number of, for example, 4,200 to 4,500 tons per day production capacity. Hence, we have um, a range of temperatures and of specific air amount as well. 
all these um, uh, temperatures and the specific air amount are within an uh, industry standard level and um, the clients appreciate in particular the very low specific air demand of 1.6 to 1.8 uh, normal cubic meter per square meter and clinker, and the high cooling efficiency between 72 up to 74, 75 percentage. Let's have a look at the options of our pyrofluor square design. The pyro crusher is our standard end crusher solution. We developed an intermediate crusher called pyro crusher IMC as well, and uh, facilitated in some projects a hot air recirculation for maximum usage of uh, WHR systems. In order to utilize as much of the um, exhaust gases, we can either use a state-of-the-art heat recovery system or what we installed in a couple of projects already is a 100% recirculation waste heat recovery system in order to minimize the losses to the extent possible. Let's conclude for now with the Pyrofloor Square presentation and go over to the PyroStep. The PyroStep is our third generation cooler design. Our further optimized grade cooler, third generation grade cooler, PyroStep Square, has been sold over 70 times globally as well. On the next slide, you will see a distribution, a global distribution of it. So you can see we have a very strong footprint in India with more than 38 uh, or 38 installed in the units. In EMEA 26, some in Russia, Americas, and Asia Pacific as well. So we developed PyroStep Square. For PyroStep Square, we made use out of the proven components like the dual static grade of our pyro, pyro step design. We changed the way we are rating the cooler from a duct design into a pure chamber aeration in order to decrease operational costs by a lowered energy demand, which um, was not in the focus of our clients some 20, 30 years ago, but is very much today. We developed new grade plates and reduced thereby the pressure drop and increased the lifetime significantly. I will show you a little bit more details in the next slide. We have drive options, um, a state-of-the-art hydraulic system, which we consider as being our standard. We still have the conventional mechanical and uh, eccentric drive for special market or client demands. All this is available uh, for as quick and cost-effective retrofits for other pyro-step coolers as well. Here again, have a look at the options. So we still have the roller, uh, roller crusher, which is basically the same like for the pyro-floor cooler, our pyro-crusher as end version or as an intermediate version. And uh, as I said before, we have the conventional hammer crusher at the discharge end optional as well. We can use the hot air recirculation for maximum usability and efficiency of your WHRS system. Here again, we can use either state-of-the-art or the 100% recirculation kind of WHRS system. Let's have a look at some of the other design features of our Pyro Step Square design. Some of the ideas of PyroFloor we copied and incorporated into our pyrostep design. For example, the pyrostatic plate. We simply made use of the same kind of plate which we already optimized for pyrofloor and thereby uh, replaced our old step, uh, step grade. So we focused on an aerodynamic slot design, reduced pressure loss. The um, entire uh, static grade chamber is chamber rated as I said, thereby we replaced the old step plate with a higher pressure drop, which was still beam rated. In addition to that, we made use of the idea of a pocket design of our grape cassettes in the pyrofloor cooler for our pyro step cooler. So we developed a pocketed design plate for the great area of the pyro step. We call it the K plate, 
which we have for the cold and the recuperation zone. We have an autogenous wear protection by clinker laying into these pockets and thereby achieve much higher lifetimes. And as you can see, in comparison to our old standard plate or even the Ome old Omega plate, we increased very much the free surface of, of the aeration slots and thereby reduced pressure drop again. Here you can see a, C a CFD analysis of our new K-plates. As you can see, we have a very, very low pressure drop of 114 Pascal or 1.14 millibar only and an exit velocity of cooling air directly at the aeration slot of 15 meter per second only. For sure, one-to-one -one replacements of the Omega and standard plates in our pyrostep coolers are possible, but these K plates can be equipped, uh, the, uh, can be fixed into any other non-KHD cooler as well. Let's have a look at the pyrostep square hydraulic drive. It was entirely developed, designed and developed by KHD in-house up to the hydraulic PLC level. For sure, we had a very strong focus on maximum availability and reliability of the system. The precise and adjustable grade movement in order to avoid skewing of your grade cooler. We have a one pump per grade logic implemented if one pump fails, the power rating and volume of the pump is designed in such a way that it can take over for a certain time a second grade in order to have some time to replace the pump failed. Last but not least, uh, the equipment like filters, pumps or motors can be exchanged during running condition of your cooler. Next, I would show some um, operational data of our pyro, floor cool, uh, pyro step cooler, sorry. Um, we have here two examples of two Indian projects um, between 80 and 140 square meter grade area and a production capacity between 4,200 and 5,000 tons. As you can see, this is during normal operation. There's nobody from KHD on site to have a very strong focus on the operation of the cooler only. This is um, uh, operational data provided by our clients. This is what they achieve day by day. You can see again here a comparable low um, a specific air demand of 1.722 normal cubic meter per kg clinker and a recuperation efficiency above 70%, up to 75, 76%. Last but not least, there's a statement of our well-known and long-time customer, Dr. GVK uh, Prasad from um, KCP Limited in India, who actually volunteered uh, trying, our, trying our K plates um, uh, the very first time some five years ago. And here is a statement of him. He stated that the K-plates of KHD increased his cooling efficiency from 68 to 71 percent and reduced the power consumption at the same time by more than 0.5 kWh per ton of clinker. And what comes on top is he reduced the cost for maintenance by 72 percent. Because in, in the past, he had to replace the standard grade plates almost annually, and now he's living with the same exact plates. Here you can see after three years of continuous operation, he's living with the exact same plates since more than five years now without any replacement. I think that was a good conclusion for our KHD webinar on cooler solutions. We presented our third and fourth generation uh, clinker cooler solution, Pyro Step Square and Pyro Floor Square. If you have any questions or demands, um, please get in contact with us. Um, the contact data will be displayed right after this webinar. Thank you very much for your attention and I hope to see you again very soon.